Hi, this is Andrew Pierce with Epics at Purdue. In this module, we're going to talk about the detailed design phase, which is the fourth phase in the Epics human centered design process. So, in this module, we're going to cover um, what the detailed design phase is all about, what is the purpose of this phase, what are some of the activities that you would cover in this phase. We'll talk a little bit about bottom up design. So, this is designing from components into an assembly. So looking at what are the little subcomponents that go into my project and how do they all fit together to make the final product. We'll talk a little bit about how to evaluate the risks of your project, whether from a safety perspective or as a project risk, risk to getting the project done on time or to the cost of the project, things like that. And then we'll talk a little bit about how you test your device before delivery and what those tests might look like, what kind of tests you might do and how you determine what tests to do. So starting off with what the detailed design phase is all about. The detailed design phase is where you've already got a sort of conceptual design or a loose idea of what you're going to do. And you're going to, in this phase, in the detailed phase, generate design outputs that allow you to manufacture your end device or your end project. So those outputs could include things like CAD models, prints, bills of material, routings. It could be code for software. Um, could be circuit schematics, things like that, any kind of detailed plan that would allow you to build the final product. Um, after you get that done, you're going to look at any risks associated with your project. Um, so we'll do some form of risk assessment like a FMEA, and then you'll pr perform some testing to ensure that your project is successful. So those are the things that go into the detailed design phase, and when you come out of this phase, we're going to be looking at the delivery phase. So that is the final, final build of your project and the delivery and how you ensure that everything's worked well for your community partner.